Hello, City Skylines fans. I'm Soxway Up, and welcome back to episode two of Newman Shores, a new vanilla City Skylines airplane DLC series that we're working on while we're waiting for the mods to get all fixed for modded, detailed City Skylines. So, one episode down, number two, we're kicking off here. We're going to work on the farming industry and expand the city a little bit. We're going to catch up on some detail work that we should have done in episode one. I want to keep things detailed to the level we're going to do in this vanilla series as we go. First off, we're going to purchase that tile so we can build out our farming industry where we have the fertile land here. And we're going to build a residential slash industry area. This is one of the industry DLC industries that you can mix residential and industry without really having to deal with pollution. I love doing this. It makes it seem like a small farm town in my opinion and, and it's just a nice transition from big dirty ugly industry to having this clean farming natural industry i love it we're going to separate some of the extractor not the extractor buildings the processing buildings to a different area that's more commercial not actually in the farming section of the city you'll see as we go here we're laying down the main building we're getting the water extended so that we can make sure all the buildings are saturated with water as they grow and we'll have to add in some power lines here for electricity as well we're not going to get to level five we're going to get to that later in this industry we'll we'll expand it later on we're going to start with some small crops here as we just start getting it established we play around a little bit with the layout here and the type of farms that we want to use i think we end up going with the potato farm let's see here yep uh yeah the potato farm I like the look of the, that green of the potatoes with the grass. I think it just blends nice and looks natural in this habitat. And you can see here, we're just kind of adding in, changing up the road layout a little bit to break it up so that they're just not a ton of farms or fields just straight next to each other. I did want to add a little bit of difference to, to that by adding that extra road. And then that gives us some areas, some zonable areas to add houses on later on. You can see here, we're just filling the space with a silo making sure that it's empty because we don't want it to fill up all the time. We'd rather them use the grain at the cow plants that we're putting down right now or the cow fields, the pastures for, for the cows to sort out. Then we run out of money. So we have to let the game run a little bit. We got plenty of income coming in. So it's just a matter of time. So I decided to zone some residential houses in here. And so you can start getting a feel of what we're going with in this area. And it is a nice blend, like I said, of residential and industry. I think it looks great. I think it looks like a farm town. The dirt roads are going to stay in this area. I know we started last episode out with the dirt roads. These ones are going to stay because I make, think it makes it just feel more country-like. Here I finally discovered the new trees that came with the DLC. I think actually this was like a free pack that came with the game. It's just a free thing that everyone gets. But I'm playing around with those. I don't think we'll use any of the original trees. We'll always use these new ones. They're gorgeous. I can't wait till we get the roads unlocked where we can show how to train, change the trees on roads as well in Vanilla City Skylines. Very cool feature that they added. But you can see here, we finally get to just the start of our industry and we should be able to get to level two with this. It's just a matter of time letting the game play, letting the resources get developed and extracted from the, from the farmland. And you can see here, we're, we are filling in all the residential areas that we were talking about coming together really nice, in my opinion. There it is, level two. So now we can have the bakery, the flour mill. We could have the worker barracks. We don't really worry about that. We just get this new area here that we were talking about earlier where we're gonna expand. It's gonna also have some commercial. So it'll be a mixed blend of, or a mixed purpose area where we'll have some commercial and industry in here as well. I don't think traffic will be much of an issue as we expand the city. We'll have to keep that in mind. It is a little bit away from the freeway. Though the main road that a lot of this industry is on, we are going to turn into a freeway exit later on. So we're kind of thinking about long term here, as well as just developing some short term goals of getting the city more profitable, growing things in areas that just seem natural to the city, like taking advantage of the soil being fertile in this area. And you can see here we are going to place down the bakery. Usually I wait till we're like level four or five on in these industries. I decided to put that down in the first episode of this industry or the first phase of it because we have all the resources needed for that specific factory. 
you can see here we're adding in the orange trees. I thought that was a good blend. I tried the greenhouses out. I thought it just didn't fit. If we we're using regular roads and it was more of a traditional industrial area, I think the greenhouses would look better. Or if we just weren't adding in the residential houses as well, just some options you can go with when you're building out your own industry there. But you can see here we decided this is where we're gonna add some houses. It's like the old country where you got a lot of farmers that have their own farmland and then we have houses mixed into it where people have just bought some land and are enjoying nature. At this point, we start planning for the future. We're not gonna make the on and off ramps here of this transition off the freeway. We are gonna pre-plan where it's gonna go though. I wanted to get that established while I built out the rest of this area. So we can we can kind of pre-plan some things. There's gonna be a lot of, of building on the other side of the river. As I kind of looked at the tiles early on before making this episode, it's starting to plan ahead long term of this build and not just the small chunks that we're building right away because it tends to be the way i build cities is i just kind of go trying to pre-plan a little bit more on this one see this area here we're starting to add some residential close to that industrial area i do plan on removing all of that industry area and probably transition it into commercial and residential long term and eventually my goal is to only use industry areas that are industry dlc specific and so i do a bad job of explaining that that farm industry that we're making you have to have industries dlc for that to work in your game unfortunately that is not part of just vanilla base city skylines it is a dlc that you have to purchase usually they're on sale for about five bucks or like 15 when they're at the most that is definitely one that i would recommend every city that i build i utilize industries dlc as I was mentioning, get cleaning up this industry area, you can see here we did lay down another landfill to empty the other one. Later on, we had a lot more recycling plants. We're going to get rid of the landfills, try to go somewhat green on this build. It's been a while since I've done a green build. The electricity we've been laying down isn't green. We started out with it, but we're going to go revisit that. I wanted to get the city up and established and kind of get the groove going with this build before we really get into some long term plans. But that's where we're going. That's where my brain is starting to tick on that. And so you can see here, this is that area that I was talking about. It's going to be kind of mixed industry and resident or sorry, commercial. I think it's a cool blend. I've never really done that, but it makes sense. You got all these people going to their industry job and then they need a commercial place maybe to visit at lunchtime and get all the goods that they need. Maybe going to lunch break and all of that. You can see here we are detailing a little bit with some of those trees that came with this latest update. I love them. They look great. The artists that created them did a great job. They are a hundred times better than base vanilla trees in City Skylines. Great addition to the game. You almost don't have to play detailed. They're starting to catch up. I know they listen to us and they know what we want. It's just a matter of time before City Skylines is actually what we want it to be from someone who plays detailed and modded a ton. I just, I can't say enough about this upgrade and the way it's changing the game. It's awesome. You can see here, we're adding in those recycle centers to get the trash production or processing high enough to where we can get rid of the landfills. And we do do that at this point. By the end of the episode, we delete one of the landfills. I did end up deleting the other one off camera before I actually finally hit the save button and close down the game after recording this. But that is our first transition into a more green city, as I was mentioning a few minutes ago. Pretty cool. I like the idea of that. And then we hit level three. I didn't think we'd get this far, but we hit level three. I had some temporary buildings laid down there, or farms to kind of help out with that. And then we're going to add in these medium sized crops. I actually like these and the large ones a lot better than the small ones. They have the little barn or the house blended in with it, which I make it kind of feels like there's actually a farmer that lives there and it's not just a random field that you lay down. I guess you could put the fields, the small fields next to these and kind of group them together and get a cool feel that way as well and a more unique look. Just some ideas that you could play with. But here you can see us kind of playing around with the layout of these six farms and we move them around so we like the gap in between each one of them and then i flip them around to where they're facing each other i think it looks pretty cool at the end again we're going to start doing a little bit more detailing in this phase as well get this area just kind of finished and established 
so we don't have to come back to it. And that's something that I'm trying to do better in these videos is finish a complete area and we know it's done. We know it's done by the trees being decorated and that's kind of how I, I, I play the game. You can see here we're laying down the milk parlor, getting all of the buildings that we have available to us so we can have a thriving industry. You can see we're already up to 14,000. It jumps up between 14 to 8,000 profit a week in the city. It's just a matter of letting the game run and we'll have unlimited funds at this point as long as we keep we keep that balance going. I mean, this might be the happy spot. You might not see that number get much larger in the city that I build. As you see, it fluctuates down to 4,000 because of the output of the industry. But yeah, I'm rambling a little bit. I apologize for that. We're getting back into adding more residential buildings. And you can see here, this is one of my favorite ways to zone just by doing two by twos or just specific size of buildings or houses and have them not always touching. Give a little bit of gap, give a little bit of room, breathing room between houses. I think it gives it a more realistic feel. Something you can easily do in Vanilla City Skylines to help improve the city looking more realistic than a lot of us are able to do with modded city skylines. There are options with vanilla to kind of mimic some of those things that we attempt to do in, in modded city skylines. And as I was mentioning earlier, you can see us placing down these trees so that we know we don't want to zone anymore in this area and we don't really want to revisit it. The things that we're going to do to the area are done because I'm kind of signaling in my brain, we've detailed it with trees, let's leave it alone. That area is done for this build and I, I think it looks cool. The one regret I have is not having any bends in the roads. Though I think it turned out cool with that angle that we have down here in this area. It kind of mixes it up so it's not just a, a basic grid. But adding in a little more houses, I did want to have a large amount of residential. I thought we'd be able to push it to the next milestone. We don't actually completely get there in this episode. But we will hit the 5500 residents, which I believe on this map is the next milestone. Right there, we didn't like the way the building plopped down, so we rezoned it to clean that up a little bit. And then a little bit more happy trees, just to kind of clean up and finish the area. And I'm trying not to overdo the trees like I have done in other series. I'm trying to find a nice balance of just adding in enough to make it look like it was purpose purposeful. Here we're adding in a path. We talked about last episode, kind of adding maybe a park, a city park. I think we're just gonna do this natural path in here and detail it up. I don't actually think we need to do a city park here. We'll have a dedicated area for that to kind of go over like I do in every series all the little details of city skylines and the different DLCs that they have. But here you can see we are just adding in a few more trees and blending in this purple one, which I think has a gorgeous color, especially with this style of map theme that's going on here. This purple just pops and it adds a nice difference. And it's not just green and browns everywhere and streets. We have a little more uh, uh, color for our eyes to be drawn towards where we're, when we're looking at the city. And that's that's what I was going for here. And we kind of rinse and repeat the same process in all of these different alleys of the rib grid that we created with this residential area. And again, I'm, I wanted to do this in the first episode. I was just so excited about starting the city and getting a video out to you guys that I, I kind of forgot about detailing this up. So we're kind of playing catch up here and that's why we didn't progress population wise as much as I would like to per episode. But again, I'm, I'm liking the way it's looking, these, these new trees. I can't say enough. I'm excited. I'm I'm thrilled that this is this is vanilla city skylines that we're playing right now and it already looks so much better just by having these upgraded more you know up to par with what we should have in the game for for trees. And we got a couple more areas that we do add this path into. I like adding paths in neighborhoods. I like seeing the people walk on them. Especially once we get some mass transit going, we can kind of link up these paths to some bus stops. And then it makes it look really natural and, and normal for people to be cutting through these neighborhoods and getting to the next bus stop so they can get to work instead of taking a car. Definitely helps out with the public, um, with the traffic in the cities as well as, as it's just, an, again, another feature of a real city that you want to implement into your town when you're building it and growing it. One of the things we kind of talked about as we get close to wrapping up this episode, moving forward with this series, I am going to build a small airport next episode. 
I've been itching to get into that part of the, the DLC's content. And I, again, I haven't watched any videos. I'm not prepared for it. We're going to do it live, record it the first time through and kind of show you my findings and strugglings and, and play with it and, and see how it comes out. We'll make a small airport for this size of a city. We potentially might have a second airport in this city in a more downtown high dense area, naturally letting this thing progress. We're going to see how it goes. But that's pretty much about all we did in this episode. We got the farm going. I mean, that was a good amount of stuff, actually. Um, another commercial area where we have our bakery and everything. And the city's starting to come together. I like the start of it. I'm excited to see where it goes. I'm already sad on this map that we're only going to have nine tiles. Maybe, maybe we'll add some mods just to help with that. But yeah, I think this was a good start. For two episodes in on a series and it's honestly if somebody at home you know if you're watching this and you're thinking you know how much time went into these two episodes it was about an hour and a half of recording time and playing time it's not that much to get this far into the game but it's also a lot of time that you can spend in city skylines and that's what i find great about this game it's replayable every city turns out different you can be inspired by different parts of the world and just replay this game over and over and over again I love it. I'm excited. I love that new DLCs come out and get us excited about the game again and kind of restarts that whole process for everyone. Right here, we're kind of looking to see if the noise from the highway was too much for these houses. They're not complaining yet. I know we'll be able to upgrade those to have the sound barriers eventually. And we're just kind of looking at our needs to kind of pre-plan what we're going to do off camera before the next episode and get things going so we can keep progressing pretty quickly in Newman's Shores. Newman Shores. But I'm Soxway Up. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for everyone that tuned in and hit the like button in the last episode. The amount of people that checked out the first episode blew me away. I'm super excited about this series. I'm going to try pumping out these episodes for you guys pretty regularly until we're done with this series. Again, I'm Soxway Up. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll catch you on the next episode. <laughs>